Blah, blah. And we are back. We're going to get this game underway for you guys right here, right now. Rails, you can go ahead and take off this first attack. You got it. We are going to get underway right now with Serious Business versus Dynasty. We have Serious Business coming out on, or on Survivor first. We're going to see the first set going in here right now. The Zorg is going to get a pull. The charge is going to go down too. And also, Hunter is going to land on the coach. That's a massive attack going out the double boom cover. And we're going to see the two clears going in right now. But that's a massive amount of damage from Dynasty off that first hit. Indeed, that was an absolutely beautiful hit. Charge is taking the start. We're after building Hunter, trapping another guy up there with the boom Survivor. So it took Rochelle a little bit longer to actually get the clear out onto the Hunter. And a lot of damage going out onto the Sarvis, as you said, after the first hit. Dropping their health bonus down to a 644. And, uh, I mean, Dynasty, if you want to go over a little bit of the uh, differences in the config while this tank tries again to play here. Well, sure, a little bit of the differences here. You're going to see only Tier 1 weapons used by the Survivors. You're going to see different spawn timers for the Special Infected. There will be a tank and a witch on every map. And the most important thing here is there are a few of them cags with Godframes. That Bruce going to get popped right now, though. The turret's going to go and get shut down. Rock does miss. Hunter gets dead stopped and shut down. Now we are going to have this tank in the hands of Dan. Looks like he's going to be playing it long. Do you want to keep it here or take it over? Uh, we could go ahead and send this right over to a Dynasty War room, I believe. They're usually pretty talkative, so let's see what they're up to over there. Let's do it. Okay. Tilt first pass. Mm-hmm. Tilt first pass. And do one more in a second. Yeah. I'm ready. Uh, wait for you. I am... Guys ready? Uh, yeah. Okay, let's Reloading. go in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Pull me one. Sorry. Fuck. You got it. Oh. Hey, those oh. bullets hurt, you know. That's fine, you didn't took much chip yet, so... Uh, yeah, you should connect there. Oh, yeah, okay, he's losing it now. They're all losing him. Save, save. Yeah. Uh, looks like they have to commit. We will get a save. boomer, probably. Try to have the boomer above or below, it depends how they're positioning. No, no, no boomer. Just try again, just go in, tank go in, tank go in, commit. Don't fuck around too much with cars if you don't get them. One in. Go, just go. Wait, wait. Wait, help him now, help him, help him right help now. Get punches on him, get. In cap him, in cap him. What? what? Help him. Help him, help him some. Mind you, mind you. Melee. Oh. Wow. Get up, get up, get up. And we are back. That was the first worm of the game for a tank in the hands of Dana, 14 Dynasty Dragon. What do you think of that tank? This is how it's gonna be, huh? I think they could have had a, a little better start, to be honest. I mean, Dana had a good position on that roof, but um, he didn't really try and, and move around when the survivors started to hide and like uh, get LOS off them. Um, I think if Dana positioned himself a little bit better, they could have played the tank a little bit longer. But um, he had to make a decision and go in, even though he had still quite a bit of frustration in the second boss. Um, and they managed to get good in-cap on Rochelle. Um, it's still good damage overall, but it's also got to be said that uh, Serious Business are in good shape with their health bonus too. Yeah, exactly as you said. Now it's going to be up to Team Dynasty to whittle down that health bonus that still sits on Coach Ellis and Nick. The next attack is going to be up here on top of this house with a smoker, a charger, a jockey, and a spitter. And what you'll notice with the more competitive configs, they're going to try to guarantee charges. We're going to see that going there right now. The smoker's going to get it, and that jockey's just going to land. Then the charger's going to miss there, and they're going to clear that hit pretty effectively there. Luckily for serious business, that charger just clipped off that jockey and wasn't able to secure that charge spit. Indeed, I mean, that charger was millimeters off of the jockey. In fact, I think he might have even partially hit the frame of the uh, charger. Yeah, and as I was saying before that attack went in there, instead of just trying to, they're going to try to not land charges by themselves. It's a nice crown going out there by Tool onto that witch, so they get the extra 25 points, and Serious Business is going to try to roll in. But as we get to more competitive places like this, it's really about how the Special Infected can work together as a unit, as opposed to individual players playing individual positions. Next attack is going to go in here right now. you got Serious Business running into the house. got a Boomer who's trying to get a Boom here. The Hunter's on top of the roof, but then the Charger and Smoker are going back. I don't think that hit went very well for uh, Dynasty there. Boom's gonna land out onto Ellis there. That's gonna be a single boom in the front. The Hunter's gonna go in there, tries to get the cover. It's gonna land onto Ellis now. We're gonna see the smoker and the charger still trying to get something in the back. Charger's gonna go in there. Neither of them actually hit yet. They're gonna get the smoker and the charger's gonna get shut down nicely. That's a great play on, on Survivor side by Serious Business. Yeah, that'll help. Reloading! Reloading! Dragon. Definitely, yeah. I mean, that was, uh, <laughs> that was a really good shot down actually by Serious Business. Um, it looked as though the Boomer w wanted to go as early as possible before they actually got into the house, but they didn't time it very well.
So that was actually very good positional movement from um, Serious Business there. And they make it with a good bonus. Yeah, indeed, that's going to give them about a 749 point score for this first map. That's about, I'd say that's about what you want to get on average from this first map. But now it's going to be up to Team Dynasty to match that with their survivor play. And I know they definitely have the capacity to do that, Dragon. We just need to grab some diesel. Um, well, I mean, it's hard to say. It, it depends on what happens now on this uh, early tank, because anything could happen. It could either be a, a massive shutdown, or it can be a complete wipe. Um, it really depends on how the tank positions themselves with the rocks. It depends on how he uses the cars, if he uses them at all. Hmm. Um, and of course, it also depends on this very first attack. Uh, let's see what happens with a smoker spawning up early, not landing a ton. Boomer getting one on Rochelle. Hunter coming in. There is a tri coming in. Charger scratching Nick a bit and charging off in the distance, going pretty far as well. Taking Nick right at the front by the lorry. They need to clear him quickly. And the tank is up in the hands of Fig. Yeah, we're going to see this tank in the hands of Fig for serious business. How about we take it over to a serious business worm and see what they're planning, Kiss Me? Let's do just that. Yeah, I'm rotating. You can land that boomer. Ready? You guys gotta go in for me then. Okay. I'm ready. Let's do it. That rock was so close. Might have to rotate. Yeah, I got on top of the trailer. You think you can take the top? Mm, I mean, not really. Close to the water. Maybe not next head if they do that again. They're outlasting you on the very corner. Actually, I'm gonna go for it. Shit, looks like it's Wait, stay alive. Yeah. Fuck, sorry. Damn, that's okay. Ah. Watch your language. So close. We're live. You're gonna have to send this thing on second pass. Fudge. Mm. Uh, I'm taking roof. I'm gonna get a boomer. Yeah. So we oh. can probably get two caps. Drop one or you can corner one. Okay, oh, you got one corner. Oh wow. Focus your punches. You still have a lot of health. Yeah, turn around. Oh, okay, you still have a shitload. Get on top again. I just rock if they can fit down. We should drop on one again. Yeah, we'll be up. I'll be up. Hold on. Hold on. So you can corner one right now. Just wait. Yeah, just wait. Let them go for the pickup or something. Nice. Should help them. Last one. And we are back from that war room of serious business. A lot of damage coming up by the tank in the hands of Fig Newton. And actually, two full in caps. And there's barely any health bonus to be actually spoken of right now for the survivors. Yeah, like you said, that was a little unconventional tank fight there because Dynasty actually was able to line a sight that tank to the point where they would have made it go to an AI control on the side of the building. But thankfully for serious business, Fig was able to rush in there and kind of start that tank commit before that happened. And after he did there, he was able to pull out with about 3k health and drop back in after he got that one nice rock through the hole. And like you said, not much health bonus to be spoken of right now. Because the attack going in here right here, that's going to be a nice shutdown by Coach onto that boomer. And Coach is going to get pulled far by the smoker. And Charge is going to try to intercept. Charge is trying to get some punches. going to miss the charge. Spit's going to go down on nothing now. So. If Dynasty really hightails it, they can get through at least another choke point before spawns are up for serious business again. Yeah, definitely. I mean, they have a really long way to go here, Team Dynasty. But, I mean, if they make past this alley right here, the next street's pretty easy. They have the wish to deal with, obviously. But the next alley up ahead is the only real major choke point left to, until they get to save from. So, hopefully, they can find a couple sets of pills to help them along the way here. The next attack is actually ready to go in, it seems. We have a hunter pre spawned on the roof with a spitter and a jockey in the spawn queue for serious business. But now Dynasty's gonna take a nice strategy here and go to the right side of the houses. That's not a very that's not a strategy that you see too often except in competitive gameplay. The jockey's now also spawned up as well. They have a charger for the last spawn in this uh, in this rotation. We see the hunter jumping in right now, trying to go for coach. He's gonna get dead stop. Jockey's gonna go in there and does land on the coach. Charger gets shut down though before he's able to land, and the hunter just kinda stood there for a second, so I'm not sure what that's about, but that'll be the end of the attack. Yeah, hopefully the hunter didn't uh, disconnect here. But, uh, D Dragon, what do you think of the uh, chances of Dynasty making a save from here? I mean, if they make a save from it's one thing, they're not going to make a much health bonus at that, but, I mean, making it is better than nothing, obviously. 
Oh, they can definitely make the save from the question is like limiting the amount of bleed from from the point they're at now to the save from because they've still got about two attacks to endure. Um, uh, they've only got a tiny bit bonus left on Rochelle, which isn't much, so really all it is now is damage limitation on this first map. I mean, it's not going to be a huge deficit if they make the save from. Um, every point they can get is best, obviously. But the next attack, I mean, Boomer got popped very quickly. Uh, I think Serious Business wanted to try and attack outside before they got indoors. And they're downing his Omni Man, because they know he's pretty much 1 HP. They want to get him back up to quicker running speed when he gets back on his feet. They have a Smoker, Hunter, and a Charger waiting. A Hunter's pouncing around trying to distract on top of the roof. Smoker from up front. Charger's creeping around on the left. Smoker pulls Nick, and Hunter goes on him. Charger miss. Uh, they clear the Smoker pretty quickly. And he goes down as well. And they've only got a Spitter up as well at the moment. Yeah, yeah as you said there. Oh, sorry. No, you got it. Okay, fine. Thanks, Kissy. As, as, as uh, Dragon said, they're basically to try to mitigate a little bit of damage that they're going to have because they know they're going to be going into the second chapter here uh, down. But if they make full distance here, and it looks like they're going to, there's only one attack separating them from the safe room, then that'll be a very playable position for the rest of this game. You can see this attack going here right now. Dan's going to get down by that boomer, actually. Jockey's also there to assist. Got charge spit waiting in the wings as well. Jockey's actually going to land there, and then Dragon's going to get quickly clear. Charge's going to go in there with a nice single charge on Nick. Spit's going to go in as well. And that's going to be an in cap on the Nick. Zombie Man and Rev both have to be very careful at this point they have that, HUD, that horde still filing in here. They did manage to find some pills, it looks like, but I don't know if that was worth the damage. No, I don't think that was worth the damage at all. Um, basically, they lost what little health bonus they did have left. They had a couple little slivers left, but, I mean, that's all completely gone right now. And right now, it's thing at a 44 health bonus. I don't see that going up. It actually went down, but I think one of them might pop up a set of pills. So, we'll go back up to 44, but, uh, you know, now Dynasty's gonna, you know, trot their way into the safe from here. They're gonna have to face this one stack. Smoke working working thing gets popped right away, though. Hunter does land on, on Dallas, and Boomer gets popped right away as well. And Jack's gonna get shut down easily. Yeah, and that will be the conclusion of the chapter here. So we will see Dynasty making that safe room as Dragon did predict here if they played it right. And they do play it right, so we're only gonna see just less than a 300 point deficit going into the second chapter. That's a very playable position. And uh, for those that don't know, for those who are new to competitive Left 4 Dead, the way in which the scores in this game, in this version of the game, I should say, work, it's not just a 25 point bonus for making it. The amount of health that you have, I should say, the amount of permanent health that you have at the end of the uh, map really does determine how much score you can get. So even though it looks like a 300 or 400 point difference is a little bit of a lot in in regular gameplay, it's really nothing when you get to the competitive levels of play. Yeah, definitely. Once again, like the whole what really separates the teams in this game is more the health bonus than anything, and that's one of the differences of competitive versus vanilla play. And uh, you know, it's all about the health bonus. Yeah, and that's why when you see wipes in competitive play, usually those are the ones that are put on the highlight reels and the montages and stuff like that, because if you have enough coordination as Special Infected to shut down these survivors, even with the weapons that they do have that are nerfed compared to vanilla play, it's always a big thing to happen. And it really, any round and at any time, you can see a shift in the game here. We're going to be seeing our tank relatively early again, though, at 26%, and our Witch at 51 Definitely. So we're going to see once again some really early uh, hits here. And obviously, actually, what's the spawn rotation? I'm interested in what it pops up as. Actually, it's not going to pop up. But there, there will be a charge of smoker, spitter, and a jockey for the initial hit. This could be a pretty good hit inside, especially if the SI decide to go then. But with that spitter, I'm sure once Nick moves out of safe, we're going to see the hit initiate. Yeah, it looks as though the smoker wants to get a pull in the back there to set up his charger and spitter. And then you've got the then you've got the survivors kind of playing it safe here, trying to clear out common from the one side. And it looks as though Jockey also wants to spawn in front, so it's gonna be just a baiting game. We're gonna see a hit going here right now. That smoker's gonna not be able to get Nick as he goes around the corner. Charger's gonna get chipped a lot. Charger's gonna go in there and miss his charge. Jockey does manage to land there on the Ellis, and now they're gonna get a lot of damage actually outside. Because the survivors are all separated by spit. That's a massive hit going in right now. That charger's going fifth city on Ellis. That's gonna be a full down. What a nice hit by Dynasty. That was absolutely beautiful, and I'm sure Dragon is just beaming over that attack. Um, Tool taking a full in cap after the first attack. I mean, it got kind of botched in the beginning. The smoker missed his pull, and Spitter didn't really have anything to go off because the Charger missed his charge as well. But uh, a wonderful jockey going out there and just Charger capitalizing on it, but they're just beating up uh, Alice pretty much. Yeah, now we are going to see our tank coming up. Second tank of the game for Team Dynasty. Going to be in the hands of the one and only Zombie Man. That spit's going to go in there and it's going to get pretty much nothing because it's an AI and it was also him sacking the spawn. So, you know, regular stuff. And what do you think is going to happen here on this tank, Dragon? Well, if they want a rock tank, Dynasty got their best one, which is Zombie Man. He is their bona fide rock tank in the team. 
And it's actually a good position to play Rock Tank, even if they stay here or even if they move forward to a, a better position for serious business. Um, Zombie Man will know exactly what to do. He just needs um, decent support from his team to distract them and just enough of a window to get the rock. And he's going to try that right now. Uh, he's. Oh, they managed to actually ski the rock. <laughs> there was a smoker and jockey trying to distract the survivors. And more distractions as well. Oh, it just clipped against the edge of that pipe there. But uh, yeah, I think we should actually take this to a dynasty war room. Let's do it. Let's do just that. Nice. 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 Get him. Yeah, get, get him. Oh, get him. Come on, come on. Punch him, punch him. Punch him. Uh. Wait, 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 wait. Wait. Nice. Let's go, let's go help him. Oh, what? Got him. Nice, nice, punch. Nice. 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 Oh, nice, nice. Punch him. Oh, he got killed, he got killed. I got him. Nice. One more. Let's try it. One, one more on him, one more on him. Nice, nice, nice. I pulled the guy out. Nice. Pull, pull, pull. nice, go. Come on. One more. Oh, one go more. rock on him, go rock on him. Oh, oh fuck. Go. One more. Nice. nice. Oh, great damage, great. Beautiful tank there by Zound Man. A lot of damage going out, putting three survivors in almost full bleed. Zeon is the only person with any permanent health left, and Serious Business is seeing a, a very bad part in this map right now with no health left to spare. Exactly, as you said, and they only have one pill left that just got committed to Tool. We're going to see a single boom going out here onto Rochelle. We only have a spitter in the spawn queue, but yeah, like Dragon said, they wanted to initially play it long, but then the boomer jumped in and got two boom, and the tank just capitalized. Smoker's actually going to go in there, tries to get a pull, and we're going to see a jockey land onto Ellis as well. So that's going to be more health bonus chip going out. Dragon, wasn't that a beautiful call by Dynasty? Oh, it was a fantastic call. I mean, like I was saying, they wanted to play it as long as they could, but uh, Zombie Man just picked the moment for it. Right, now I have to be aggressive because there's a real window for it, and it worked. He got that jump rock to separate Ellis from the rest of the pack. Um, got the double boom in as well. And uh, it distracted Serious Business enough to the point where they couldn't chip the tank, like, completely. Um, but now they're going to be heading into this next area. They're going up the ramp. This is quite a bit of a, a drop. Sometimes SI like to try and uh, catch one off and try and separate a survivor, but they're not going to do that. They're going to wait until they drop down. They're going in right now with a boom landing on Coach. Hunter on Ellis. Uh, Charger landing. And a spear as well on Coach in the corner, and he's instantly down. Yeah, thankfully for Sirius, but so that was not on their last sliver of health points. It's still being carried by Rochelle at the moment. But like you said, though, that next down here, they really need to worry about getting distance at this point because if Dynasty is able to kill that tank with any better luck than Sirius Business had on their survivor turn, we could see Dynasty really trying to blaze their way through this map here. We have a witch up as well, trying to find exactly where she is. This jockey's going to try to troll on her. Then the rest of the hit is coming up as well. The spitter, a hunter, and a charger with that uh, aforementioned jockey. We're going to see Nick going for the crown right now, bringing it out, and actually going to get down by the witch. And then we're going to see the uh, jockey also still jumping around here. Tool's going to be able to kill the charger, but that is going to be another down on the fig. Yeah, a huge misplay there by Serious Business. I've actually never seen them play uh, this poorly in a map thus far. I mean, the tank wasn't really all their fault. That was an amazing boom, and the tank was in perfect position to actually intercept the survivors. He basically separated them two and two when the tank mid. But that last hit with that witch, that was just really... It was a huge misplay on the Serious Business part. They didn't have spawns blocked. And, you know, the SI had free spawns pretty much, and they just capitalized on it. They should have probably taken the time and actually made sure that, you know, stuff was blocked off. I'd like to add, actually, that the jockey actually stumbled um, Nick. It landed yeah. onto Ellis, was right behind Nick, and stumbled him, which is why he got um, down by the witch. Yeah, we're seeing a boomer here, actually, he's gonna miss. We're gonna see a smoker pull going on. Coach and Jackie's also gonna be able to land on the Rochelle. Now, Coach is gonna get pulled up there. That's gonna be a death out onto Remix. So that's one dead now as the survivors still have to take this event up here. And as Dragon mentioned there, you don't usually see serious business have that kind of situation where they're close enough to have situations like that happen. Yeah, and once again, just to recap, this is not the same team dynasty we saw in week six. Like, I knew coming into this that I knew, I'm like, this ain't going to be no, you know, 4,000 point game spread at the very end. Like, this is going to be a very close game down to the end. And as you can tell, Dynasty in the second map has come to play. Like, they've bought their A game. They're ready to take the wipe here. They're ready to play their survive half. We have to attack Owen. Jockey lands under a shell. Charger misses completely, though, and that's going to leave the spit with nothing to actually spit onto. But still going to get the down out onto Rochelle. Spitter walking in and just scratching down. And uh, they're going to try and get Rochelle up here and make their way into the elevator here, but there might be another attack up before that actually occurs. 
Yeah, and if you're serious business here, you're trying to play the long game as far as distance goes, because the more distance points you get now, the better position you're going to be able to defend against when you're on the infected side. And for even though they're known for their survivor play, serious business also is great at special infected. That boomer tried to get a long boom there, but did not manage to land it. Player's going to be jumping around as well, trying to distract, I guess. Rochelle's going to get pulled here, then they're going to have the jockey going in to cover that smoker. He's going to get actually going to land on the neck, and then tool is oh. dead. That's going to be the wipe for Team Dynasty on to serious business. Absolutely beautiful SI play coming out here from Dynasty in the second map. I mean, Dynasty must have known coming into this that their biggest challenge was going to be serious business as, or survivor play, I should say, because that's what they're known for, as uh, Rails did mention. They're just so in tune with their survivor play. They know what's going on. They know what to expect from their teammates. They know, they know where they're going to be and, you know, just everything about each other. So it's hard to crack their survivor play. And no team has managed to do it yet as they are coming into this undefeated but Dynasty seems to have found a hole. They seem to have actually been able to crack Serious Business's shell of survivor play. And if they can continue making the wipes happen, they have a chance of taking you know the win here in the championship. That being said, I expect that Serious Business is going to be able to do something similar to Dynasty here. Because like you said, we're not expecting anybody to blow anything out. And even if you crack Serious Business's survivor play, their special and effective is amazing. Oh yeah, by no means am I uh, down talking their SI play. I mean, their tanks alone are some of the best tanks in the North America scene. You have Xeon, Fig, Remix, Tool. I mean, just those four tanks alone, people know their names. And those tanks are, you know, definitely forces to be reckoned with. And, you know, same goes for Dynasty. Ew, Zombie Man. Zombie Man, one of the best EU rock tanks. Dana, Brev. I mean, this is just a solid eight that we have here. And there's nothing that you can take away from these guys. Yeah, so Dragon, what do you think Sirius Business is going to do on this first hit here? I think they're going to wait until they probably go outside. That's my my inclination at the moment. I think if they can get them outside, um, then they can have a better chance of a tri gap. They've got, or actually a double gap. Uh, no, there is a tri gap. Sorry, my mistake. But yeah, they wait outside. They do land a charge and a spit onto coach, and they're going to try and get a point blank smoke on uh, Ellis. Uh, there was a little bit of damage, yeah, but um, actually well shut down by uh, Dynasty. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. They got a little bit of damage, but at the same point in time, if you can just chip them down a little bit before that tank, that will help uh, the infected team able to play a little bit more of a rock tank. But we'll see exactly what they're going to do. Tank's going to be up into the hands of Xeon. Oh, this is going to be big. Yeah, Xeon is absolutely phenomenal with his tanks. And if he's not allowed to rock this, he'll, he'll be more than happy to commit. Xeon has some of the best, uh, I'm going to say, angle working with tanks that I've ever seen in the game. He knows how to get the survivors into corners. He knows how to trap them off. And, I mean, his tanks are just really well rounded. He spent hours upon hours, like hundreds of hours, in servers practicing his tanks and whatnot. And uh, we're going to see what he can make happen here. I think. We have a pre commit hit going in right now. That they're trying to play it long. That Jockey is going to get cleared. Trying to land a rock there. Isn't going to get. Charge is going to get. Smoke is going to get an insta smoke here. Zion's going to try to throw the rock in, and he is actually going to miss it. So we'll see exactly. I think they want to try to play it long, but now we're going to see uh, Dynasty move forward. We should probably take this over to a serious business war room. Indeed, let's do just then. See what they're thinking. Oh. Yeah, it's fine. Well, last thing. We get a boom? We get a good boom. That's a triple. Rock. Right. Right. If you want to work. Don't die, Jackie. I know. It's hard, or is it? That's slow down. Nice. Ah, should have been double. Just get some damage. The guy's in the corner. You should get out. Hide, hide right there. Get out. I need some help. Wow. Oh, they're back corner. <laughs> get that curve. Nice, fight, 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 fight. What a tank. He's boom, so that's I'm a good We are back, but things are looking pretty grim for Dynasty actually right now. Coach is the only survivor up right now, and he is boomed, so all the horde is going to be attracted to him. Spit goes down, trying to delay that pickup onto his shell, and it will do just that. Jockey coming in, looking for the wipe here, and he gets to Jock onto Coach. That's going to be the wow. wipe for Team Dynasty, and that's going to put about a 700 or 629 point spread of uh, points on the board right now. And uh, what do you think went wrong there, uh, Dragon? 
I think what went wrong there is that they tried, they mistimed it just like they did in map one. Uh, like in map one, if they had just actually moved out a little bit sooner, they would have been able to like get some clear air and not get caught off by the spawns. But they just got double boomed and then caught a rock simultaneously, and that just you know kickstarted everything that happened from there on out. Yeah, because then Zeon jumped in there and capitalized on that dual boom, something that you'll see at the competitive level here. You will see whenever those multi-booms land during a tank there, there is a chance that the tank will jump in because they know the commoner are going to have enough just to gridlock the survivors. Interestingly enough, we're going to be seeing our tank at 85% of the way through the map here. The reason we put so much focus onto tanks at the competitive level is due to the fact that a lot of the effectiveness when you have really... Actually, we're going live right now. You have a lot of the coordinated team's effectiveness just not going to be hindered by the regular choke points of the map. So we're going to see the tank as the biggest choke. That boomer's going to get popped right away here because we are seeing them go live. We have a Smoker, a Charger, and a Hunter up for Team Dynasty here for this first hit. It looks as though they're going to wait a little bit until the survivors get into the field. They have the Hunter pre-spawn now. Smoker wants to come from the right-hand side. A Charger is now also spawned as well. They're going to send it in here dry right now without that spare support. You can see the Hunter land and the Smoker also land. Charger's going to jump in there. It's going to land on to Coach for a lot of that is going out here. And that Smoker still has a pull onto Ellis, and this is going to be a great hit coming out for Dynasty. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. A lot of damage once again going out in a serious business. Dropping the health points by about 200, I'm going to say. Yeah, they're down to an 1145. I believe the max is 1400 for this map. So, uh, dropping at about that 260 mark. But uh, survivors should be able to make it up the elevator here with, you know, obviously no other attacks. But there will be an attack up at the top. Whether they have a charge or not is to be seen. And if they do have a charge, that could result a big play. Boomer trying to sack himself, throwing himself down there to the bottom. And there's another <laughs> coming from it. And survivors are going to opt to actually not pop it. And a uh, good heads up play by them. And now it's just a battle between Dana climbing there. And actually, they're going to pop him now onto, <laughs> onto So what, what's your strategy right now if you're Dynasty uh, Dragon? Well, the strategy is hoping the charge. Try and get the smoker and the jockey if they have it. Or if they don't, they have a smoker and a hunter. And the hunter's going straight in. They're trying to pull oh! one out. The giant land the death charge. Oh and he gets it. Oh, my God. That is huge. The Death Charge going out there on the tool. That erases all need for tank percentage. And like I said before, usually you see teams able to traverse that choke point pretty easily. But that time, Dynasty just got to them. Oh my goodness. That was absolutely massive. And I can only imagine what Dynasty's War Room is like right now. Because they must be absolutely ecstatic with that Death Charge. That, that changes everything. Once again, the difference means nothing now. They can make back to the distance points just making it where the survivors are right now. And, you know, just, you know, taking those distance points. But we're going to have attack coming right now. Charger does land. Hunter gets a nice repound out on the uh, coach. At oh, wait. He actually goes down in this bit. Oh, yeah. He little... was trapped in there. He was trapped in there after the uh, Charger stumbled. He managed to body block and punch him as well. So we're going to see another down going out on the remix. And serious business has to be a little bit flustered right now. Yeah, I mean, I can only imagine Tool's not very happy with himself. He's a really quiet person. He doesn't really talk that much. But uh, I, I can only assume that he's a little unhappy after that death charge. But, I mean, it does happen. It had to be somebody, and it just happened to happen to be him. But, I mean, right now, Serious Business, they're sitting in good shape right now, but they're not going to be able to beat this tank. I don't see that happening. Um, whether they run it or they try and fight it is to be seen. I think they might just want to opt to run it here, because I don't think they're going to be able to take down Dynasty with only three survivors. Right, we do see that singular boom going out, and we are going to have a tank into the hands of you. Four Team Dynasty, we should probably take it over to a worm, do you think, or should we keep it here? Oh, we can even throw it. Let's throw it right over to a Dynasty Worm because the tank's actually already in. Let's do it. Yeah, it dropped. I get him, I get him, I get him, I get him. Oh, I missed him. I missed him. I Brem, get him. Brem. Someone gotta get him. Yeah. Pull him, pull him, pull him, pull him, pull him. Yeah, we'll do it. Let him push forward. I see you, I think. I will. Oh fuck, I dropped. I left you, I left you. Okay, it's right here. We missed last. Yep. Coach is right here with me. Right. Got to work. Of survivors. Nice one, guys. Yeah. And we are back. Dynasty is actually playing it pretty cool right now. Look, alright. We got, we got the wipe, but now let's just get our survivor side over it. If they can make this safe room with a, like a 300 health bonus or 400 health bonus, they'll be right back in it. And that health bonus is completely possible. All they have to do is just avoid that death charge at the elevator, which is completely doable. Um, for those of you that don't know, a little trick in the elevator is that actually if you jump up and down and a hunter comes in, you won't get stumbled if you're jumping up in the air at this time. I'm that you pass seeing the five survivors. Hmm. I should probably oh my respect. God. Or am I just am I losing my mind? 
There are I actually two that. necks. Oh god. I'm not too sure. <laughs> I think I think it's I'm actually incredibly confused right now. I think Zen's also specking. Uh, Zen is one of the admins for the tournament, and I'm sure he'll take care of it as soon as he can. That's a little weird. There's, there is a bot, Nick. What is happening? And Rochelle is currently right. staring at Nick. <laughs> <laughs> of all the timing. That's never happened before. That is special. <laughs> Look, no one else noticed it. Fig saying like, respect. For those who don't understand, this has never, ever, ever happened before. <laughs> oh goodness! Well, that is that is interesting. We do have another attack coming in. Uh, it, it, is it possible that we're just seeing? I no, don't know. No, it was a bot. It's firing at commons. The thing is, I believe Nick won't count for anything distance-wise. He's just there. He's an entity. So if someone kicks him, wait. Some people are saying. I believe health bonus is normal. Um, no, it's not. It's oh no, it is. Yeah, it's definitely over. It's one thousand seven hundred. Oh god. But the thing is, I believe the distance isn't going to change. Like thirty-two percent is actually normal for right now. So they should be fine. They just have to kick Nick, so the health bonus goes back down to normal. Um, yeah, let's see if we can actually kick the bot Nick. And they did! So they've now, done it, they've done it. Uh, oh did God. they? Yeah, they did. Alright, cool. Reloading. And now we're gonna get this game back underway. They're asking if they're ready, and indeed they are. We have a Charger who's already pre-spawned in the field here. We're gonna have a Smoker, a Boomer, and a Hunter up for the rest of the series, but this is rotation. Man, this has been a fun game so far. That uh, was very special. Um, I'm sorry to everyone that is tuning in. <laughs> Once again, that's never happened before. I'm not too sure how that happened. Um, it could have been just because the specs are in here, and it just you know, spawn up another entity for some reason. But uh, regardless, we're going to just trudge on past it. It didn't affect the scores or anything, so don't worry about that. And yeah, we're going to see the survivors take this field hit. Right, and as they move away here into the field, we got the infected just kind of distracting over here. We're going to see actually the hunter trying to pounce right now. Boomer's also spawned up. They're trying to spam there. Boomer's going to try to go for the long boom actually. Stumbles the smoker as he spawns. Cougar's now going to get a pull there onto Rochelle. Going to be cleared easily by Coach. And now we're going to see if they don't if they play this wrong with this charger here, they might not have one. But the charger's going to go back. It's going to be a beautiful charge going back. Hunter's going to manage to cover as well. That's going to be a lot of damage going out onto Rochelle, aka you here by Team Serious Business. What a nice first hit. That could have easily gone badly for them, but they made it work. Yeah, Dynasty was very slowly but surely making the way around to the SI, ghosting up towards them. Uh, for those who also yet don't know, if you ghost or shift walk in this game or crouch, the SI cannot see you uh, after the first couple seconds if you shift walk and they're not moving. So the SI didn't know that they were coming, but once, the, you know, obviously the guns started going off, they were saying, we have to go right now because we're going to just start getting picked off one by one at this point. Right, now we're going to see that boom going out there, getting all four of the survivors. It's really going to depend on the spawn rotation right now, depending on what that last spawn 14 series business is going to be. This is a smoker and a hunter right now in the queue. You see that hunter is already pre-spawned, and this is a big, big choke here, Dragon. Definitely, I mean, Fake's got that charge it's just a few seconds before the elevator door opens. They're going to have to do the exact same thing that they did. Uh, charge is waiting, the smoker tongue missed. They gotta be careful. Oh, the commons block the smoker tongue victim. Oh. And they clear the they clear the tongue. They kill the spare. The smoker's gonna have to wait for his tongue. Reload. Survivors are gonna be aggressive. Charger. And they're gonna clear the charge. They're gonna flank the charger and kill him and deal with the smoker too. <laughs> Advantage dynasty. Yeah, like you just said, that that's gonna be massive now as they move through the rest of this map. They've traversed the death charge. It was very close, but now I have to ask, kiss me. How do you think they're gonna like? What are they thinking right now for as far as the tank goes? As this boom goes out and lands on the three. Uh, serious business is definitely saying whoever gets this tank, you have to do a lot of work. Um, I mean, once again, those serious business, they have the tanks, they have the players, they have the skill, they just have the, everything, you know, in their side. They know what they can do, what they have to do, but it's just a matter of if Dynasty is going to let them do it or not. And, uh, I mean, at this point, Dynasty is not looking to let anything go. They're playing the hearts out right here, and, I mean, that death charge on the last half was absolutely insane, and that cracked a huge ga gaping hole inside of this game. Like you said, whatever happened in the first couple maps, now we're going to see what they managed to do. We are going to have a witch coming up here, Dragon. Yeah, um, although I think Serious Business might be hoping that the survivors go for the witch, I probably bet that um, Dynasty will actually neglect it and go the other way. I don't think they're going to be risking 25 points when they could be carrying a lot of bonus. The attack going now, actually, and the attack lands 
Charger on Coach. Jockey trying to scratch him as well. Coach is still in spit and he goes down. Yeah, now that the attack's down, you actually might see Team Dynasty drop back and kill the Witch, maybe. But like you said, it's 25 points in exchange for the, the potential fail crown. We are going to see Rochelle's going to be looking for it right now, as a matter of fact. It's going to be a lot going out here onto you, and you is going to get those 25 points for Team Dynasty. So, like you said, even though they, they took a lot of damage, even though they didn't go for the Witch, but that's usually the way you see teams play it, because they want to be able to preserve that health bonus. We can cross here. Yeah, definitely. And actually, another thing to bring into the equation here is we do see two survivors completely bleeding out, but attack coming in here. Boomer does land out too, and nice double cap happening in back. Charger takes one survivor way back into the backfield here. That gets cleared relatively easily, and Hunter also lands out onto Rashad. That's going to be a bit more damage going out onto survivors. Um, but once again, there are two survivors completely bleeding out at this point, so it's going to be actually kind of tough for them to take this tank at this point. Um, the tank can play a rock tank for the first pass and probably three quarters of the next pass. Um, it's, gonna, it's gonna allow the outside to get two or three hits in, and it's gonna be actually they might not be able to take this tank. It, depending on how uh, we see Series Business take this, we might see Dynasty end up running. It's actually Dynasty's running all the way back here. Yeah, they're gonna be able to act. That boomer got a long boom onto Rochelle, but now they are gonna move back here to this area. Tank is up in the hands of Remix. It's gonna be a clutch tank here for Team Serious Business. How about we take it over and see what they're thinking? Absolutely, this is gonna be a, a, a pinnacle tank. A turning point possibly for both these teams this game itself and yeah let's just go ahead and see what they're doing do it come on jockey remix you're losing los from there yeah no. remix come on in and cross the jockey let's help him should i just go in all right all right fine just yeah. gonna should have let's go to hp step let's go Get out if you can. Get him a rock. Just go, 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 go. Oh, wow. Wow. Reloading. Nice. Oh, you had a rock. Nice rock. You can probably rock Nick. Nice. Reloading. Those rocks. Reload. You might want to pull that pull that one back. Good. No. You shall not pass. You shall not advance, you mean? What rocks? Ah. Uh, get this rock. I gotta smoke again. Good. Slow coach. You're starting to worry me. I can get you up and go down again. That's it. Good, Nice, guy. Look out! She's trying to skew it. Push forward to the other tank. Wow. wow, what a rock! This is like Brett Favre tank. Ridiculous. Kiss me tank. From the other time. Brett Favre. <laughs> ah, good tank. Gotta steal up. What? Such rock. <laughs> we are back, and as a uh, fig, <laughs> so nicely mentioned at the very end there, such tank. And uh, absolutely beautiful rock play shown off by that of a remix of Team Serious Business. I guess the wipe out on the Dynasty, and that's going to leave still about a 626 point difference, I believe, if ma math is not wrong. So uh, it's a little bit of a difference, but Dynasty can make that up. We have Map 4 and Map 5 still to go of Hard Rain, and it's anyone's game. And that is a huge tank, and that was beautifully played.
like you said, he tried to commit earlier there. He was down to about 1,700 health with only one survivor down. He managed to get out. I noticed that his rage was dropping, but then Dynasty elected to try to get their comrade up from the side of the silo there. And as they did it, then we saw... Um, we actually saw then Remix able to play a very nice rock tank. The reason I pause there for a second is we're going to be seeing a tank at 12%, kiss me. That is special. I don't think I've ever seen a 12% tank. There's a lot of things I haven't seen in this cast. But 12% uh, <laughs> is definitely one of them. I'm not too sure. I think that's literally once they walk out of the safe. Like, like when they get safer, yeah, yeah, when they when they get out onto the plateau of that staircase right there at the top of it, it's going to trigger the tank. And that's going to be the first SI attack. It's going to be huge for both these teams. What they do with this first SI attack could spell the tank, whether it's going to be a good or bad tank, whether it's long or short. Um, it's going to have a lot of say to do here. Tank is up right away. Tank, or survivors, I should say, are going to climb up the ladder. Tank will be in the hands of Brett for Dynasty. Boomer gets a singular boom out onto Rochelle in the back there. And are you guys feeling a survivor? Are you guys feeling a survivor? Uh, just take somebody. Okay, I'm good. Get behind you, tool. Shit, fuck. Turner. Feel the same. Up your pills, tool. Yeah. He's right here. We're good. He's right here underneath. Can everyone get on the top? On top? Top. Up top. He's gonna get a car. Get up top. Come on. I need pills. He is like, I don't know, not that low. Reloading. Probably 2K. You think? Car. Oh my God. Watch down. Watch down. Them too, him. I need help, I need help. Clear, 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 clear. Look out. Give pills to Give pills to two. Fake, fake, fake. Reloading. Reloading. Hey, I. Reloading. Dead. And we are back. We're going to have a pause going out by Dana. I'm not sure if Zombie Man actually... No, Zombie Man did actually crash now that uh, Dana didn't tell us what happened. But the tank actually got a lot of damage initially when he committed with the boom that landed onto Rochelle in the back. Um, but it just wasn't enough. Survivors are out of pills completely. Hopefully they find a couple throughout the course of this map. But, uh, you know, Fig and Remix are still sitting at a lot of health bonus. Yeah, like you said, he was able to get uh, some good damage starting off there. And when we saw him committing in, we jumped to the war room pretty uh, instantly there. That's something that I've seen a couple teams with that tank and scrims actually want to do. Just kind of roll in there, catch survivors off guard. And it, it worked at the first part, but then spawns away weren't in the right position. What do you think happened, Dragon? Well, I think the intention was good, but in all honesty, I think they should have only tried it if there was at least two booms, not just one guy who was boomed. If that happened, there would have been enough of a distraction and confusion amongst the survivors and maybe the tank have done a little bit more to spread the damage had that actually happened. I think it's a risky call to make to do that sort of push when only one person is being boomed. Um, and they decide to go in straight away without actually setting up the cars, which is what usually happens um, at tanks at uh, this early stage of the map. Right, and when they got that singular boom there, I guess they thought they might be able to catch somebody, but then he also didn't have any cars in position, so I'm not exactly sure. But it, it, it sort of paid off, and they need to work on the health bonus here. Yeah, most certainly, and we are going to be going live here yet again. We're having man reconnecting the server for Team uh, Dynasty, and Serious Reload. Business is just going to keep trotting the way through the uh, you know, map here. Yeah, and they just need to play preservation right now on the health of both Fig and Remix. So now we're going to see, it looks like the Special Infector is setting up on that roof there. They're going to have a 2-2 with Hunter Charger. So Spitter, Boomer, Hunter, and a Charger for Team Dynasty. Tool's going to run onto the roof here, and then the Boom's going to go in. Uh, Charger's going to miss his charge, unfortunately, for Dynasty, and then the Boomer is going to get shut down. Hunter's going to get dead-stopped around there, and he still has, like, 4 health, and now does get skied. That's a very nice shutdown by Team Serious Business. Yeah, I mean, Dynasty really has to start, you know, tightening things up here, and they have to get this wipe. If, if not a wipe, at least take out the rest of the health bonus here of Serious Business. If they can bring this down to the finale, the finale is a perfect position for them, and they can actually make the comeback then. 
But, I mean, right now, they just have to work on this map right here right now and get Fig and Remix to take it down and get rid of that health bonus that's sitting on them. Because right now, with the health bonus of, you know, 424, that's not super big, but that's still, you know, quite a health bonus to actually contend with for this map. Yeah, and with the lead that they already have, then that's what you really need to think about if you're Dynasty. You know, how are we going to make up the certain amount of points? Unfortunately for Team Dynasty right now, they got another they got another 2-2 of the Jockey, a Smoker, a Spitter, and a Boomer. So now we're going to see exactly how they want to throw this in. Looks like the Boomer wants to spawn below. Here's the going to spawn, gets a nice 2-boom out there in the front. Yeah, the Jockey spawned up there as well. Spitter looks like he wants to come from the back, and then the Smoker's also in the back too. Going to get the pull out onto uh, Ellis there, then the Jockey's going to go in there and try to cover. Tries to land on a neck, and he gets jocked around there, and actually he's still going to land for, briefly, uh, for, for a brief second there on the Fig. But Fig was uh, M2 him like a champ. Most definitely. And Rochelle will be a little slow here, so she is going to slow down the team uh, until they do find her a set of pills. But they should be able to take this drop ahead in the apartment. Um, this is actually something that we should point out, I assume. But uh, right here, the fence, that little alleyway here is blocked off. There's a fence put in there, so Saragas are forced to basically go through the house and upstairs. And it just makes the map a little bit longer. Um, little sneak peek, there are maps being in the works. Complete, work, com complete reworks of Hard Rain and Dark Carnival. But a uh, crown does go out. Nice crown there by Coach. Hunter lines onto Fig. Fig also gets, or eats the boom, I should say. And Smoker's going to get a brief pull out on them as well. A little bit of damage going on the health bonus there, but once again, really not what they needed. Dynasty needed a lot more damage out onto Serious Business. And that's going to still leave them at around a 300 health points by the time they get into safe from here. And uh, Dynasty has their work cut out for them. Yeah, so how much pressure do you see being put on Dynasty right now, Dragon? It's got to be quite a lot, right? I think they're going to be feeling very, very desperate in their mumble room right now. They know that this is a huge um, points difference to contend with, with only one and a half maps remaining. And if you just try and count the distance now, or difference I should say, it's uh, 1,455 points. That's almost like 100% maximum bonus of this very map they're playing right now. They have to have a super flawless round if they want to get back in contention here. Yeah, exactly as you said. And for those that don't know, on the ProMod or Pro -Mod, um, config, I should say, on the finale, there is only one tank to contend with for the survivors. Now, that can both be both a blessing and a curse, because for the first part of that, if you wipe somebody else who's leading you, then you have a great chance at making save room. But then, if you're playing from behind and you don't wipe up the tank and the other team makes it, they probably are going to get a very a pretty nice bonus, so they'll be able to contend with that. But right now, Dias needs to worry about not getting wiped by this tank, and we'll see exactly how they try, how they try to play it. Definitely. I mean, we did go over to a survivor war room for that tank. It was a serious business war room. So we're going to do the exact same here. We're going to throw it over to a dynasty war room for the survivor side once the tank comes up. Uh, might be after this first attack. Depends on how the attack goes. If the attack goes really well, we're going to throw it over right away. If not, we could go ahead and, you know, just like, we respect. We'll do this thing. We got a single boom going out there under Rochelle. And the hunter's also going to manage to land there with a jockey forward. Uh, we should take this over to a survivor war room right now, then, kiss me. Let's do it. Go. Yeah. Preston went out with us. Yeah. I'm a reload. Careful, Carson coming. Reloading. Fuck. I can't skeet this fox for some weird reason. You gotta aim higher because of the ping, dude. Yeah, it's better to ping four. No, green, uh, orange, you have to aim above them. Good job. Rock, rock, rock. Oh, nice, thanks. I lost him, I lost him. Otherwise, he, he, he will hide. Yeah, he's hiding, okay. Did you pull zombie? Maybe he's got zombie. Call, 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 call. Reloading! Woo -hoo -hoo. I'm fine. Shit, this motherfucker. Drop to the left side, drop to the left side. There's a car, there's a car, dude. There's a car. Chucky, Chucky, Chucky. I, I punched. That arm. Yoki coming towards you. Oh, he missed him, he missed him, he missed the car. Don't jump around. Car is pretty stuck. Yeah, good. Fuck this thing, fuck this thing, fuck him up. And we are back. Definitely a lot of excitement coming out there from Dynasty's War Room there. They were pretty happy when the tank did finally go down. And especially after they kind of semi -set shut down the SI attack. The hunter did land, manage to land out onto uh, Coach after he actually got the initial dead stop, but he pulled out his melee to actually, you know, kill the hunter with the melee. But uh, he should have just ended up shooting the hunter. So unfortunately, the hunter did uh, kind of work around the melee kill and got the pounce onto him.
Indeed, but that is what Dynasty needed. They did not get wiped. Now they have a chance if they navigate these rest of these attacks. You see a Jackie going there, landing on a Rochelle. You see a Boomer also spawned up. Spit did a little bit of damage, and the Boomer does get shut down. Uh, serious business has to be a little bit careful right here, Dragon. Oh, definitely. They've got an advantage, but they have to maintain it at all costs. They cannot afford any slip-ups. Um, they haven't got the 100% bonus, of course. Nobody ever gets that, but what they've got now is so, so crucial. All their hopes for the championship rise on what they do in this map right now. Exactly, as you said it. This is this is for the grand finals of this tournament. This is for their this is to prove everybody wrong, come here and win this tournament. They need to preserve this health bonus on Dynasty's side. Now we're gonna see this hunter pouncing around. We have a smoker and a charger also winning in the wings with a spinner. We're gonna see the uh Rochelle's actually down below. Smoker's trying to pour. It's gonna be a nice chip and pretty much shut down there. Now we're gonna see the, the pounce did land for a second, then that charger is gonna land onto Ellis, who is actually health bonus. That's gonna be a lot of damage onto that health bonus right there. That's not good for Dynasty. Yeah, that was a definitely a little bit of a misplay coming out there by Dynasty once again. Uh, ew, it was half the health bonus that was remaining. Kind of, you know, pushed ahead of his team, got caught out on the ambulance by the smoke charge, and uh, Spitter just capitalized on it, threw the spit down once that charger landed, and that's going to definitely drop the health bonus down below. Actually, no, the health bonus is still above. That is interesting. So the health bonus is still 80 points above Serious Business when they finish the map. So uh, they can still make up a little bit of distance points here. They had a really nice chance before, though. They would have made up about 180 uh, where they were sitting before. But now they're only looking at up, making up about 80 if uh, they do maintain this health bonus that they're sitting at right now. As long as they make it, then we're still going to see a very, very, very crucial finale coming in, pretty much for all the marbles. But they have to be careful about this choke, too, because they have a hunter up on the roof. They have a jockey and a smoker also who are waiting to hit here. They're going to trigger the witch, and the activist is going to get down on Rochelle. It's going to be a full in cap there on the zombie man. And now they're going to actually manage to dead stop there as well. And then they do clear the hunter. Smoke pole is going to go out there on a coach. They do clear the smoker there. So they're not going to get those other 25 points, and that will probably eliminate a little bit of that health bonus, as you talked about. Yeah, definitely. After getting coach up, they're going to be down to 272 health bonus. So they're going to lose about 30 points when this round is also done at this time if they finish the map right here right now. But there is still a jockey up. He's going to look to probably make, get out of scratch onto one of the survivors. Most likely Ellis, but Ellis and Nick are both already in safe. And so uh, that is health bonus. Going to go for coach. But gets dead stopped and killed off. And they should be able to just walk in there. Coach is actually going to get Boomer stumbled out of the safe room. And they got to clear him get him in there before the outside do magic up. And they're, they're going to get up. Charger is up with the hunter. They're gonna work their way in and actually they got the down out on the bro. <laughs> <laughs> they still got the four. They still got the four times fifty-seven there for the health bonus. So it's still a very, very, very winnable game for Dynasty. Only a seven hundred point difference. And if you get wiped with the first tank here in the finale, oh my goodness, whoever gets this tank is gonna be under the most pressure physically possible in this game because if serious business manages to beat that tank, as I mentioned before, they have a great chance of taking the championship here. It all comes down to this. Wow guys. Yeah, I mean, definitely. If you just look at the distance points alone for this map, I believe the map is still worth 800 points. I don't believe that was changed at any point. So that is 800 distance points that they could make up right here, right now, if they did make it you know, to the finale, or all the way to the end of the map, I should say. Um, so Dynasty really needs that to happen, but on their SI side right now, they really, really need to wipe Serious Business with this first tank, and really not even let the points tick up all the way, because they're going to have to wipe them with their tank, and then on their survivor half, they're going to have to go ahead and make it with like a three or 400 health bonus to actually take the win here. So a little bit of a task for them to do here, but it's more than possible. Exactly. So if you're Dynasty right now, Dragon, what are you thinking? And rise on the first tank, wipe them at the first tank. Actually, it's the only tank this finale, isn't it? Yeah. That's the only thing they can think of, to be honest, because they're already 700 points behind. And they're only going to lose about a few hundred points anyway, leading up to the first tank. You know, it has to be at that tank or it's bust. So we will say first tank going. Up. Go ahead. Go, uh, <laughs> charging, landing, a jockey gets spit in the well. A good attack actually from Dynasty at the beginning. A uh, bit of damage, but um, still very strong bonus in the moment from uh, Serious Business. Yeah, and now it's all just about whittling down Serious Business' health here, but at the same point in time, like we said, the distance points are going to be everything here for Serious Business. If they can manage to make just the distance, forget health bonus, they make it with just the distance here, they have a pretty darn good chance at solidifying that lead to a championship. Yeah, most certainly, and we're gonna, really what we want to see Dynasty do right here, right now, if they want to win this game, they have to start making people bleed on Serious Business. They have to make them start popping those pills, so when Tank does come up, Tank can just play Rock Tank. A beautiful that coming, nice double cap with 100 pounds going out onto LS, and that's going to put the spit down to him as well. And that could be a full end cap. We're saying a lot of damage, and he's down to actually about 15 HP. Spitter's still scratching him, common hit him in the back, and Remix is down to about 6 or 7 health right now. He takes another hit from a common in the back, and that's exactly what Dynasty needs. If they can do that to one more survivor before his t tank gets up, 
they could turn this into a wipe here. And then this is the best chance they're going to get. Um, I don't think he wants to pop. I think he wants to try and wait and maybe take it down. I'm not too sure. Um, I, he should well, pop. I mean, if, they have four pills saved up as well. Yeah, if Dynasty actually gets him down and then pulls out some insane tri cap, I don't know. But they are going to pop that boomer right there. Hunter is jumping around too. And they are going to have the charge of the smoker both spawning up here as this tank does come into the hands of Dana 14 Dynasty. That smoker is going to get a pull there in the back. And this is it. This is everything right here. Let's take it over to one of those Dynasty war rooms. And this will be the last one of them for the game. This is for all the marbles. Good luck, Dynasty. And here we go. Just, I thought you crashed it. Yeah, no, no, <laughs> Actually, if you hold uh, shift, you can move without them noticing. Yeah. I don't know from where though. Oh, I see you. Bam, boom, Just go without tank then. then go you, tank. you should change position. Hold on, hold on. Let's go. He's going in, he's going in. Tank is coming. Uh, get the. Let's metal, let him get the ink up, let him get the ink up. We can wipe him. Let him get the ink up, we can keep going there. I'll get the ink I got I got frame. I got him, I got him. Okay. Cover me. Nice, nice, nice. Ink up him. Ink up the two, don't lose it. One one more, one more, come on. Nice. Come here. Keep going, keep going, keep going. There's a lot of issue tank, just win. What? I... Oh, sorry, 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 sorry. Come on, come on. Nice. 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 Okay. 300 bonus. 300. Yeah. We, can, we can do this shit. Yeah. That's easy. And we are back. A huge tank played out there by Dynasty. And they're not even that hyped. Like, they're just like, alright, guys. Like, they're all business right now. They're like, they're like, alright, we got the wipe, but it's not over by any means. We have to, you know. We have to make it with 300 health bonus, and going up in serious business, that's that's a task. That's not like it's going to be walking a pocket. They're going to fight for this. Oh my gosh, you should have heard Dragon and I having the conversation that we were back here while you were in War Room. After that was, as that was going on, it's like, alright, here it comes down to you. That was the perfect situation for Dynasty to be in, because they exploited serious business moving apart. And now, you know what? The same pressure that was just on Dynasty, that is all on serious business right now. Because they know, if that tank gets killed, there is a great chance that Dynasty's going to be able to make it to the boat and win this game. What a finish we are in for. Definitely. I mean, they only need about like a 50 health bonus right now to make it and actually win with the championship. And 50 permanent health is not much at all. If they can just keep one person, you know, healthy for the duration of the map, the other three can soak up all the damage they want as long as they don't die, and they could win this. They need 336 bonus, as Dragon just said. So now we'll see what Serious Business does on the last half chapter of this. The championship for the Watch Left for Dead's 2014 Spring Promo Tournament going in right now. Hurts going to go in, he's going to get dead stop. Charger goes in, does manage to land on the coach there. That's going to be a good amount of damage going out as the jockey also got shut down. So actually, not as much as I thought it would be. About the same as it was for Serious Business, as it was for Dynasty on the last half chapter. Reloading. Yeah, I know Dynasty's feeling it. I know that Serious Business is feeling it. I mean, before this match, Remix was really nervous like he doesn't talk much and he just kept talking to me all last night like he's feeling the nerves and let's just hope that it's not a remix tank because if the nerves get to him it could be the end of the game here yeah, so I have to ask Dragon here, how should Dynasty play this tank from this virus? I'll ask you actually after this hit, that boomer's gonna get popped, Smoker's gonna get a pull out there, Hunter's gonna go in there have a nice cover on the coach, uh, Jockey's gonna land on Rochelle for a little bit of damage too, and then we are going to see that Jockey get a little bit more damage, now I'm gonna ask Dragon, how do you take this tank from survivor side if you're Dynasty? Well, Dynasty haven't really played this finale much, obviously being a European team, because they don't play finales in Europe or the Russian community for that matter. But they've just got to LOS it as much as they can. They cannot afford to make this a rock tank, because we already saw on map 3, they have trouble um, skiing rocks due to the latency. Um, and all, on top of that, they also need to shut down those boomers immediately as they spawn. That's the only option they really have if they want to survive this tank and get the bonus necessary to win. Yeah, now we are going to see a charge go in there on the LS, charging him down. They're going to actually get the spit. Spit's going to overshoot there. Jackie's going to get jumped and punched around there. Uh, Spirit's going to go and get a few scratches. Proxy Boom does go after on the Dana as well. So now they need to pretty much preserve with this health. It's all going to come down to how much damage this tank can do. And we will see it, be seeing it come up in a couple of seconds here. Kiss me, I am pumped. Dragon, I am so pumped. We're going to see the finish here. I'm... I, I, I can't find the words. And <laughs> I, I'm just... I, I'm impressed. Dynasty kept it close the whole game, they kept it within a thousand points, and now the finale comes, and they have the possibility of doing it.
they could actually make this happen. And they still have two pills left inside the restaurant itself. Attack coming in, Hunter, you can set stop the shutdown. Smoker just gonna pull off, and Charge is actually barely gonna miss a zombie man. Um, Ellis really getting saved there, but uh, still a decent amount of damage going on to Ellis. Remix. Tank will be up in the hands of Remix. Little Remix. Come on. <laughs> Let's just go ahead and send this, this is, right over to. Remix trying to play for his first championship here, and after his long, long career, he's been around since the game came out. This is all we have to say left. Let's take it over to that serious business war room. Kiss me. Everyone say a prayer. <laughs> as long as you can. Can you get easy for him? I'm ready. Alright, ready. It's fun. Go, go. Can we shut up? Why, why can't I spawn? Go. What am I getting blocked Jackie. by? Jackie. Oh, fucking Alice. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Go. Sorry, sorry. Go, go, go. I did not see him. You can still LOS, that's pretty good. Oh, they're gonna give you the roof now. Two just hitting him. Should go in, I think. Easy wipe if we get a boomer. They're in the water. Ah, I got a smoker. What should I do? Should commit tank. Gonna have to commit soon. Let's corner one real quick. I'm gonna get that. Wait, 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 wait. I'm just making. I'm getting down. All right, let's go. Let's go, go, let's go, go, go. Kill it, man. Kill it. Get it off, man. Oh, I got a nice. Oh, last one. Nice job, dude. Next. Yeah. And we are back. That is the way coming out from Serious Business out onto Team Dynasty. And that will be the end of the game. End of the tournament. Serious Business taking the win over Dynasty. 28-97 to 21-70. Coming down to the final map. Final tank. And, and wonderfully played from the SI. Yeah, and that was right there. That is what championship teams are made of. Because even though Dynasty was taking it in that room, I guess their strategy would have been to have Remix drop in the middle of them and then try to shut down the SI, but you saw the two pins land, and that tank was directly on top there. Dragon, what are your thoughts on the end of that game? Well, Dynasty did the right call by actually trying to get to LOS. The problem is they played it out too long and tried an extremely unconventional tactic in taking it inside the burger tank. And that pretty much ended it for them. When um, Remix's tank dropped in, he immediately punched Rochelle, who couldn't really provide um, damage to the tank. So they were effectively already a man down by that time, and that's it just made the uh, tri-cap for the sport so easy as well. Yeah, exactly as you said. That was the perfect situation that they needed to do right there for Team Serious Business to win that tournament. And that is going to be the end of the tournament, as Kiss Me said. And that's going to be the win for Serious Business. That's all we can say. They go undefeated through nine rounds, 9-0, and oh, perfect. They knock off Dynasty twice. In the semifinals, they defeat AG Tablefoot for the second time. In the playoffs before that, they defeat Natural Born Killers. They go through. They played the top teams in this tournament, the top teams in North America. And they have so deserved, after such a long stretch of games, to be able to say that they are the winners of the Watch Left for Dead 2014 spring pro mod tournament there you have it guys yeah i mean i mean be beautiful tournament uh thank you to a stoopy who was the head admin for it thank you for zen digital who was the assistant head admin uh really helping out with all the uh little m mishaps and everything that happened throughout the tournament but uh, it was all sorted out you know as soon as they could get to it and just a wonderful tournament once again thank you guys for putting it on um, yeah, Serious Business will be your victors. Um, I guess now we could probably run through the shoutouts. We could start with Dragon, go to Rails, and I'll finish up because I have quite a list. But uh, yeah, Serious Business taking the win once again over Team Dynasty. Going to be your champions of the tournament. And uh, take it away, Dragon. All right, so uh, well, I'd like to say personal shout outs um, for this couple. Uh, thank you, Kiss Me and Rails, for co casting alongside me. It's been an absolute pleasure, as always. I'd like to thank Astupi and uh, um, Zen Digital for admin in the cup and presenting a, a fantastic tournament. I'm sure this is an absolute resounding success um, from like everyone, as far as they're concerned. Um, congratulations to Serious Business. Uh, congratulations to um, Team Dynasty. They really, really made a fantastic job of representing the European community, playing with the ping disadvantage and keeping it a close game. Only finishing about 700 points uh, deficit behind um, Serious Business in the end. So, I mean, all in all, that was a very well played match. Um, and also, I'd like to say uh, for the community, um, 
if anyone here who's new to competitive left 4 dead 2 and was watching it for the first time on the stream um check out um www.l3nation.com um be sure to check out um l2l which is left to learn um a4e which is academy for there they're both um sort of pugging and um, mentoring groups uh, aimed at uh helping people who are new to the scene to develop and to get used to um Kafogel pro mod uh eq style play um and obviously uh keep tabs on kiss me stream because he's obviously the primary streamer of this uh, of a north american community and of course of a whole effort community and yeah i can't really think of any more shout outs if you guys have any more yeah i mean i will uh, say my personal shout outs as well i'd like to say personal shout outs to uh pretty much every team that played there i know i was also a glad participant in this tournament thank you to everybody who tuned in to listen to all the casts each week and stuff like that because i'd say five months ago i never would have thought that i'd be in the position that i'm in to be able to help cast and help this community out but when you get involved with the community the way that um i have and the way i've been lucky enough to get involved with with kiss me giving me the chance to cast and dragon being uh kind enough to cast with me and my teammates when you pretty much anybody can find complete success in this community and anybody who wants to have a great time anybody who wants to make friends you're going to keep for life anybody who wants to do any of that just if you have you know the kind of desire to do something competitively with other people this is the community for you we have a list of great mentors we have like the entire culture of the community is to pass on the knowledge that we have to other people and to mentor and to show people who are new you know there's a stereotype in gaming where some people say that, you know, people aren't friendly to new people who play in the game, but this is the community that's the opposite of that, the antithesis to that, because when you come into the Left 4 Dead community, especially with the leadership that we have in Zen Digital, you have a stupid, you have World of Noise, you have Sideways Box at AG, you have so many people who are willing to pass on their knowledge, you have Dragon at Academy for Dead, like, you cannot... You cannot just find another community that is as nice to people who want to learn as you people that you have here. It's all about the attitude. It's all about the chemistry. It's not about saying that I'm going to come in here and automatically be a superstar. you got to work your way up. The team that you just saw win that tournament right there, they are the perfect example of a, what a Left 4 Dead 2 team should be like, you know, because they came together, they made in this tournament a run that is legendary, honestly, with the way they just did 9-0 and because of the team chemistry that they have. And that's why people come back and people want to be interested in this community. And I am so thankful to be a part of that community for the fact that just with the way people interact and the and the true, you know, with, with the true way that we want to pass on our knowledge and just play together with other people, there is no other game and there is no other community like the Left 4 Dead 2 competitive community. So to everybody who makes that possible, I'd like to say thank you. Kiss me, you got any? Yeah, I have a lot of shouts. Oh, and sh shout out to Muddy. He would be unhappy if I didn't say that. I actually have one more shout out to um, Battle for uh, working with him on the voiceovers, and of course for all the years that he and I have casted together. Um, so yeah, he definitely deserves a shout out for his dumpster <laughs> moment in the in the video. Yeah, most. Yeah, I'd also like to give. I can I throw another one in there? I also like to give a shout out to uh, Alexi Twenty One, who was the person who mentored me and brought me into this community, and a shout out to my teammates as well. All right, my list. First of all, mm -hmm. and for, for, foremost. Big shout out to Femputer, um, long time community member, like three years at least, and uh, I've known her since then. Obviously, I think I'm the one that might have actually bought her into the community. I'm not too sure about that. Don't quote me on it. But uh, huge thanks to her. Thanks to her ties. We, I believe we got put on Twitch front page. I'm still not sure about that. No one has confirmed it. Um, I haven't really asked anyone though. But we're gonna wait and see. That was my phone. But uh, big thanks to her. She also did all the graphics on my stream, all the graphics you see. You know, she made um, the video. Big, big thanks to Nike on for the video. Um, all the hype videos, all the smooth you guys will see in the videos afterwards. They're all from him. So big hype and thanks to him. Uh, thanks to Sir for the uh, basically a sponsorship for my internet so that I could actually do this and cast because my internet wasn't good enough to actually cast before. I didn't have the upload speed that requ was required. So uh, the streams are really bad, but he helped me out. So thank you, sir. Um, some more shout outs. Zeon, who was the head developer of the HUD that we used during the game today. Uh, he did amazing work. He kept up with me. He kept tabs on me. He made sure that, you know, he put everything he could into the HUD to make it as good as it could be. And I'm sure he's going to continue working on it and trying to you know, find ways to better it for the community. Um, shout out to Zen Digital and Stoopy, the head server. Uh, server tournament admins i guess you could say so big thanks to them putting up with all our you know stuff and headaches 
Um, thanks to Rail Barlow, obviously he was pretty much my dedicated co-caster for his tournament. If he was on, he wanted to cast, he was here, he would beg me, and I was happy to oblige because he did a really good job. Um, I put a lot of faith in him, you know, putting up, you know, I, I put a lot of faith in him pretty much. I didn't know him, I didn't know much of him, I just know he used to cast with someone else, and, uh, you know, so we did what it was. Um, big thanks to Jacob as well, he's actually the lead config dev for ProMod. Um, he helped us at the last minute to fix something that happened in the config. It was a little bit of a water slowdown glitch, but we got that all done and out of the way. Um, he was also a cameraman and caster along with Ninja, who's a server admin. Um, so big thanks to both of them for being cameraman and casters throughout the, the course of this tournament. Um, thanks to NF, who's another config dev, dev and actually a map creator. He's, he's one of the people working on those secret maps that no one's supposed to know about. But uh, there, it's leaked. And also, big thanks to Visor for actually making the new spec code that we saw in-game today. Uh, he created it pretty much, I guess, for this tournament to help us out with just giving us more information and a more detailed analysis of what's going on in the game. And also, it helps you guys out because you guys can see what's going on that we missed. So, uh, yeah, big thanks to all those people. Anyone who's had any input on this stream, uh, any input on the tournament, if you've you know followed, if you've viewed even five minutes of the stream, or if you're viewing it right now, Thanks to everyone for uh, you know just helping us and supporting the community. Basically, what we've been doing in the past two three months is like a full reboot of the community. We've been bringing it up from you know the ground and we've been building it back up to the top. And you know I think we have a pretty solid base where we stand right now, good foundation, and it's just a matter of building up from here. And with the next two tournaments, another Swiss tournament, and then the Equilibrium Number no. Two Cup International, that's going to be a big uh, tournament. There's going to be huge teams, powerhouse teams signing up. And I'm expecting great things from both those tournaments. Um, but yeah, I mean, anyone that helped at all throughout the course of this, thanks to Dragon and Rails, of course, for tonight forecasting with me, um, helping out. Thanks to you guys, the viewers, because the first 15 minutes or so, there were a little te bit technical difficulties, <laughs> but uh, we got those straightened out. And uh, Yeah, I'd also like to give uh, another shout out if I can to uh, XBuy, who also was somebody who casted a couple of the games in the uh, duration of the tournament, and uh, also was the person who gave me my first casting shot, as you mentioned there, and uh, biggest, I think the biggest shout out that I definitely want to give is to you, Kiss Me, because for as much as you tell me about it, for as much as you give shout outs to everybody else, you are the one who gets the credit for bringing this back, because you said that when you came back to this community, that you were going to be the one who was going to stream, who was going to dedicate yourself to doing that, and the whole point of Watch Left 4 Dead was the conglomerate the streamers so as your co-caster I would like to give you the biggest shout out possible at the end of this stream here from the entire Left 4 Dead 2 community because the level of gratitude that we have is going to be how we rebuild this community in the future stemming from this tournament and that's because of what you did well thank you but I don't, know, I, I don't feel right taking you know credit for really anything I'm basically just the person who compiles everything and I made an account on Twitch once and it's called Kiss Me Plucks <laughs> but uh yeah huge, huge thanks to everyone thank you Rails, for a shout out um thank you all for watching tuning in if you hit that follow button it's greatly appreciated it shows, your, shows your support for the community um once again bit, and a huge shout out to twitch staff i wanted to save this one for last you guys know who you are program hacks in chat he's one of them so thank him for that guys um bufferado i think that's just that's alexa 21 but yeah um, huge thanks to Twitch staff that helped us out. Um, you guys know who you are. I don't know if I should mention you guys by name, but I'm just going to say Chris and Ben. Keep it short. But uh, thanks to you guys for pushing the envelope, you know, helping Femputer and us get, you know, some recognition. Um, once again, I'm not too sure if we made the front page, but regardless, I'm sure it was a huge turnout. I'm going to look at the stats for the viewership. I'm going to be absolutely shocked, I'm sure. But uh, yeah, thanks guys for everything. And hey, we should also give, as this is the conclusion of the tournament, we've got to give the biggest shout-out possible to Estupi, because he was the one, I remember back, I think it was in January, after he got back from, I think it was at Shibby somewhere, and he came back and he said the idea, you know, why don't we take all the Left 4 Dead streams and conglomerate them into a website? And it was his idea to bring the bring to life the whole premise of Watch Left 4 Dead, and that's what this tournament was about. So, there you go. It's all Estupi right there. Yeah, definitely. And uh, I believe we've been going on like 10 minutes of shoutouts, but uh, well, I guess we'll just wrap it up right here, guys. Um, so once again, Serious Business taking the championship away from Team Dynasty, taking the win. And uh, Serious Business are your champions, obviously. Um, Shoutouts to LeftForDeadNation.com, watch LeftForDead.com, ProMod.com. Oh, well, LeftForDeadProMod.com, now that is. Um, thanks to all of you for watching once again. And from Dragon, Rails, Barlow, myself... Uh, the whole Left of the Two com competitive community, 
We hope to see you guys around, and we'll see you guys next time with another tournament. Yep. Have a good night, slash evening, everybody. Have a good night. Yep. Good night, everyone.